Welcome back to Faith and Wellness. And together we continue our journey and discovering the timeless spiritual counsel of St. Teresa of Avila through the series of morning meditations, simple mantras, and our night prayer. Remember, as the day begins, let nothing disturb you. Let nothing make you afraid. All things are passing. God alone never changes. Patience gains all things. If you have God, you will want for nothing. God alone suffices. Remember to set aside a, a quiet time in a quiet place to listen to the meditation of the day. As I read the meditation, inhale and exhale deliberately again and again. We're going to do three together and then you will continue to keep on breathing together. I mean, by yourself and I'll, I'll read the meditation as you continue to breathe. And as you're breathing in, let the love of God come in and then whatever worries or concerns you have, let them out, releasing them to God. Ready? Let's begin. One more time. One more time through your nose and hold it for a little bit. Day 24, my day begins. If you have not yet begun to meditate, I implore you by the love of our Lord not to be deprived yourself, not to deprive yourself of so great a good meditation is. There is nothing to be afraid of. There is everything to hope for. You may not become perfect overnight or be instantly blessed with the joys and consolations of the great saints, but little by little you will grow in knowledge of the road that leads to heaven. Mental prayer is nothing else but being on terms of friendship with God, frequently conversing in secret with one we know loves us. Anyone who perseveres in seeking God's friendship is amply rewarded. Keep on breathing in and out. Do not make the mistake of believing the prayer consists in much thinking or that we are automatically spiritual people. If we are able to think a great length about God or that we have failed if we cannot do so, if you are given the grace to deep thought and understanding, be grateful. If you still if you still don't have it, just keep on growing in your relationship with God. But if you are like me, I have no advice to give but to be patient until our Lord sends you both matter and light. Place yourself in the presence of God. And do not exhaust yourself searching for reasons, for understanding 
that lies beyond your reach. Do not lay blame on your soul, for the good of your soul consists not in thinking much, but in loving much. Remember, our first commandment is to love one another. And God is love. So, do not be afraid of anything. All through the day, let nothing make me afraid. Go ahead and write down on a sticky note, index card, or a little notebook, the mantra of the day. Let nothing make me afraid. And remember this, let nothing disturb you. Let nothing make you afraid. All things are passing. God alone never changes. Patience gains all things. If you have God, you will want for nothing. God alone suffices. Okay, say it with me three times. Let nothing make me afraid. Let nothing make me afraid. One more time. Let nothing make me afraid. Have a wonderful day. Allow the Holy Spirit to guide you. And I'll wait for you. Pause the video. Have an amazing day. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I hope I hope that you had an amazing day full of love and all the joys that come along of doing things with God because when we do our work with God, our work becomes sweet and you enjoy it more and you do a better job as well. Okay. Remember, find a quiet place and quiet your spirit. Breathe deeply through your nose. Inhale and exhale slowly and deliberately again and again until you let go of all the tension and invite God to embrace you with love and to protect you throughout the night and always 24-7. So let's breathe three times together. Ready? Through your nose. Hold it a little bit. Release it. One more time. One more time. My day is ending. Let nothing, O oh Lord, disturb the silence of this night. And in the gathering darkness, let me relax in your presence. There is nothing to be afraid of. There is everything to hope for. I may not become perfect overnight or be instantly blessed with the joys and consolations of the great saints. But little by little, I will grow in knowledge of the road that leads to heaven. Remind me that here in the closing moments of this day, I am in your presence. I do not need to court you with great thoughts or profound insights. For the good of my soul consists not in thinking much, but in loving much. If I love you, God, 
I will want for nothing. You alone suffice. Sweet dreams. May you have a wonderful night in the arms of Jesus, covered by Mary's mantle. And I'll, so I shall see you tomorrow for day number 25.